guys, so today's video is going to be a disappointing products video. I have a lot of stuff. Um, I feel like one or two of these products I may have previously mentioned in a disappointing products video, but it's been so long since I've done one. So if I have like one or two repeats, I think it'll be okay, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I am wearing a new lip color today. We could talk about that real quick. So ColourPop just sent me their new spring collection. It is divine. And this is Spritz. This is one of the new Ultra Satins. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's so pretty. So, yay. Oh, um, there was a reason for that little rant. It wasn't a rant. It was like a love rant. If you guys want me to do a video on the new ColourPop Spring Collection, let me grab it. If you guys would like a video, there's new eyeshadows, there's new lippy sticks, of course new ultra satins, and there's new eyeliners. So, if you guys are interested in a video, let me know. Um, I, have, I have the shade Flower Shop on my lower lash line today, and I really like it. Anyway, this video is not about ColourPop. So, let's get started with the disappointing products. Should I do the disclaimer that everybody does? Just because I don't like a product does not mean that I'm knocking you if you do like it. Everybody's different. Like, I feel like I shouldn't even have to say this. Like, I don't get offended if someone says, oh, I hate Benefit Roller Lash because I love it. That's okay. Everybody's different, different strokes, different folks, that whole thing. I'm not knocking any of these brands. I just didn't get along with these products. So, everybody just relax. And there's Banjo. Look at this. Hello? Oh, not interested. Now I have to get up and shut the door. What a shit. Okay, so, starting with... I'm just going to grab and go. So this is the Nivea Men's Original Protective Lotion. So you guys know I love the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. So I got this just thinking, oh, let me try it out. Maybe, like maybe the whole line is amazing to use before our makeup. But this one, like this is basically just a moisturizer. But... I don't know, it kind of left a little bit of a residue on my skin, whereas this Nivea, well, we know it's Nivea, the Men's Post Shave Balm, this is like the perfect primer. I don't think I've used another primer, like religiously, since I started with this. I mean, this is the best primer hands down that I've ever used in my entire life, and it's like $4. So this, I don't know. For men, they might like it, but for me, putting it on before makeup, would you like to come in and say hi? Oh, hey! Oh, 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 okay. Oh, disappointing products? Yep, Banjo's interested. Some people always ask why he wears his harness. I do take this off sometimes at night, but Tony can't put this on by himself. So, like, if I leave and Tony needs to take Banjo out to use the bathroom and this isn't on, everybody's basically F-U-C-K-E-D. Can I continue filming now? I know you just love Mommy so much. I love you, too. You're such a little ham. Can mommy continue filming? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, okay, okay. And now we have this one. Hello, Dukers. Yo, bitch, what up? Go lay down, baby. Okay, let's continue. Okay, sorry about that. Getting back into the video. So this just, it left kind of a weird residue on my face. So I just didn't get down with it. Okie dokes. I have a brush. I feel like I have more disappointing products and I don't always remember to put them in here. So if I think of any, just check the description box. Um, this is the Sephora Pro Buffing 62 brush. I still have the little top on it. Let me take this off. So this I thought would be good for foundation because it's like, it's basically like a flat top kabuki brush. It's not quite as dense as like my Sigma F80, which is my holy grail foundation brush. Well, I do love the new Morphe M444, but anyway. So this, when I went to use it, I kept, it kept shedding. Like I kept getting little hairs on my face and it just, I don't know, it's not super soft. I just didn't love this. And Sephora brand brushes are quite expensive. This was not like a $10 brush. So for the price, 
it just, no. I, I haven't had the best luck with Sephora brand brushes. I have a few, but none that are like, oh my god, this is the best brush I've ever used. So I kind of just don't buy their brushes anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Just kind of turned off. I've had way too many bad experiences with Sephora's brushes. Okay, moving on. What is that? So I have some Wet n Wild. First, I have this... Studio eyeshadow palette and coming in latte and I swear I heard someone talking about this saying that it was good And I did use this in a get ready with me video and it's not the worst I know it's wet and wild, so it's very inexpensive, but I'm comparing it to wet and wilds old Eyeshadows like the ones that are kind of in this packaging. These are the new ones But you guys know what I mean the old wet and wild like old school shadows they were so good. There were not there was nothing better in the drugstore for that price. Like they were phenomenal. I feel like they've kind of changed up the formulation of them. They're not quite as good as they used to be. Like I feel why did I close it? I feel like the pigmentation in here was kind of decent, but there were a couple shades. I feel like there were a couple shades that were okay, but then there were a few that were like, "Oh, this is really bad." So, I don't know. I just don't think Wet n Wild shadows are what they used to be. And this, for me, it was just kind of a disappointment. So, passing on that. Um, also from Wet n Wild, I have, I think, all four of them. I don't know if there were more, but I have four of them. These little trios that they came out with. So, I have Rapper's Delight, Bohemian Rhapsody. The names are really cute. Busta Rap and Freestyle Rap. Eh, that one. Gorgeous eyeshadows, but none of them perform. The pigmentation is crap on all of them. They're just, like I said, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but they're just not what Wet n Wild eyeshadows used to be. They're, they're just a huge disappointment. So this entire collection for me, none of these, in my opinion, are worth it. Even though they're only a few bucks, pass. I don't even know if this is out anymore, but just in case you see it somewhere past. I've had some of these products here for a while, so I'm sorry. Um, I have two. Well, let's talk about this first. This is the Jessie's Girl Backstage Collection Natural Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my god, this is bad. I love Jessie's Girl Nail Polish, but you guys, this was absolutely terrible. Terrible. Like, the pigmentation is terrible. Nothing in here is good. That one looks like it's pigmented, but I'm telling you when you go to put this on your eyes, it is bad. It's probably the worst thing that I've ever used from Jessie's Girl. I tried a ton of their products. Their eyeliner is really good. Their like loose pigments are really good. Nail polish, amazing. But this is not good. And I think this was only like $5, but that doesn't change the fact for me that like, if I'm paying any amount of money, I want a product to perform. This is not even worth five bucks. It's just not good. Huge, huge disappointment. Okay, another drugstore product is the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. This was the one for oily skin. This had a very weird texture. After I would kind of, like, press it into my pores, I could still feel, like, I don't know. I could still feel the primer on my face and it would get those little like bits. I hate when primers do that. Benefit Professional used to do that to me like once in a while. I would put it on and then when you kind of like rub your face a little bit, you get these little like balls of primer. It, and it just ruins everything. I feel like you have to wipe it off and start from scratch. Once a primer does that to me, I am totally done with it. It's just like tossed, you're done. Thank God I didn't bounce that off my head like that damn lip liner. Okay, I have a few mascaras. I actually have four of them. So the first one, this is a product I feel like I may have mentioned before. This is the Rimmel Wonder Lash. I do not know why I bought a mascara that says it has argan oil in it. That there, that right there for me should have been a warning sign, like a red flag. This did nothing for my lashes. It's like so mild. It gives you extremely natural lashes. And it, like the argan oil that's in it almost makes it so difficult to apply. It almost has like a greasiness to it. 
and it did nothing for my lashes. They were so thin. It looked like I had four eyelashes when I was done with this. This was just terrible. Um, another one from Rimmel is the Lift Me Up. Also Wonder Lash. It's like the same line, but just like a different type. This one, same thing. It just did nothing for my lashes. I really like this wand. Usually I go for like funky wands like that, but for some reason this just... It did nothing. It didn't give me length and didn't give me volume. And once my lashes dried, they were extremely crunchy. So these two were a huge bust for me. And then I have the Kat Von D Immortal Lash. And I don't even really remember why this was so bad, but every time I look at this packaging, like every time I see this, I just, in my head, the first thing that pops into it is, oh, that was terrible. It just, I don't think it did anything for me, and I'm getting, I'm getting a flashback of crunchy lashes. Crunchy lashes for me are a huge no. Like, I hate that. I know some people don't mind it. They don't mind the clump. I don't like that. I want big, fluffy, like, feathery lashes. I love that look. Um, another mascara that did not work for me was the Cargo Boundless Lashes Mascara, and I remember why I did not like this. So this one... The wand is big and rubber. It has like rubber bristles. But this one, again, made it look like I had four lashes. Like they all get kind of stuck together, but they're super thin. Do you know what I mean? Does anybody else have that issue with a lot of mascaras? I feel like that happens to me a lot. I feel like maybe I'm too picky with mascaras, but I do have a ton that I like. Benefit Roller Lash, L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black, Bobbi Brown Smokey Eye, YSL Baby Doll, like I love all of those mascaras. Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lash, I die. And my favorite for the past like three months is the It Cosmetics Superhero. You guys, this mascara is absolutely amazing. I can't stop using it. And I just realized that I didn't put lash gel on. This is what it looks like. It Cosmetics Superhero, this is amazing. And I've turned so many people so... Wait, did that come out right? I've turned so many people, yeah. Ugh. I've turned so many people onto this and everybody that buys it ends up tweeting me or calling me, depending on if it's a subscriber or a friend. Well, you know what I mean. Um, and they say, oh my gosh, you were so right, this mascara is amazing. So this, if you're in the market for a mascara, it cosmetic superhero, bombastic. So I have two eyeshadows from MAC, and these, I believe they were both from the Fairy Whispers collection. It was whatever had the word fairy in it recently. Um, Fairyland and Sweet Illusion. These are so pretty. Let me show them to you. They're absolutely beautiful shades. So that's what they look like. Let me just swatch them for you. They, like that is even, that's impressive for these two. But I swear when you put them on your eyes, you just get nothing. They're very, very soft. These would actually maybe be pretty as highlights if you're into super, super subtle highlights. But I find on the lid, these are just way too soft. Like you put it on and you have this very light wash of color, but I swear like a minute later, it's just gone. They don't hang around and you can't build them up. I put, I think it was this one, Sweet Illusion. I put this one and I swear I layered it like five times trying to build it up and it just would not build up and it would not last on my lid. The color would just like disappear within a minute. So these for me, terrible. I find that MAC's single limited edition eyeshadows are usually not very good. Like their regular line of shadows, amazing, but their limited edition ones, consistently when I buy them I find that they kind of suck that's disappointing but anyway okay I have a few lip products so first I have the NYX liquid suede lipsticks I bought a few of these I only have two of them here to show you so I have do they have names yeah soft-spoken and sandstorm I know a lot of people like these and I just did not like them at all I feel like they have this weird, like, creamy consistency, but it never, like, dries down, and I feel like they feel very thick on the lips, and they're, they're just not comfortable to me. They're, like, a weird in-between of a liquid lipstick and, like, 
the ColourPop Ultra Satins. Like I have an Ultra Satin on right now, as I said, and it kind of dries down so it's not like weird and creamy sitting on your lips. I feel like these were almost there, but they, they didn't quite get there. I did not like these at all. And kind of along the same lines are the Tarte Tartus Lip Paints. I thankfully only ordered two of these. I was gonna buy all of them because I thought they were gonna be amazing. Oh, these were bad. These were really bad. Um, the colors are beautiful. This one's in the shade FOMO and TBT. So they're both really pretty. This one is FOMO. They have the weirdest, it kind of looks like what I have on. They have the weirdest powdery consistency. It is so not comfortable to me. I mean, of course, this is just my opinion. I know a ton of people love these. I do not like this at all. I feel like putting them on, the pigmentation wasn't that great, so you had to keep going over it. And that powderiness was very odd to me for a lip product. Like, I just, no, I did not like these. I'm sorry. The colors are pretty. I love Tarte as a brand. These, no way. Not for me. And the last product I have is the NYX Whipped. It's just called Whipped. I think I got these from an event because I have the whole entire collection. These for me were just not good. Let me give you guys a little swatch. So this one is in the shade Dark Cloud. It's a gorgeous shade. It's like this wine color. Really, really pretty. But I kind of feel the same way about these as I did about the Tarte ones. They just have this weird consistency. These are a little bit, the NYX ones are a little bit more glossy, but the way that they feel on your lips is just so like foreign to me. It doesn't feel like a a good lip product. They were a little bit patchy for me as well. Like I would do one full layer and then I would notice a spot that was kind of lighter than the rest. So I would do another layer. And in, cover, in trying to cover that one spot, you would get like five more other spots as you put the wand on your lips. You know what I mean? Like it just kept getting patchier and patchier the more layers I put on. No. They were not good. I'm sorry, I love NYX. I love all of these brands. You guys know, I don't discriminate with makeup. I love all makeup, but there's always gonna be products that don't work for me, that work for you, and vice versa. That's okay. No hate, no nothing. It's, it's okay. A final product. I forgot that I had this, but my Snap Fam knows all about this. This is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. Okay, now, I used to own this product when it would, back when it was in a glass bottle, and at first I really liked it. Then I didn't like it, and then mine kind of went bad, so I got rid of it, and then I repurchased it. Now, what this is, it's basically just like calamine lotion and what's on top? Just like alcohol or something? I don't know, but it's a very simple concoction. What this is, you're supposed to put it on breakouts. Like if you get a zit, kind of like this guy that I have here that does not want to go away, and you just put a little cotton ball in, not a cotton ball, a cotton swab down to the pink like sediment, and you get that on the tip of your Q-tip, and then you just dot it on. So it's like a spot treatment. It does work. It really dries out the area, but the problem is this smells like total ass. And it's not all of them. It doesn't have the greatest smell, like it doesn't smell like roses, but I know that I got a bad one. Mine smells like, excuse my French, rotten cooch. That's, that's the only way I can describe it. It smells like dirty old fish. That's what it smells like. It is the worst smell. And I tried it a couple times and I'm like, it can't, like why does it smell like this? And then the last time I put it on, I really went to town and put like a big drop on. It smelled so terrible, it would not go away. I snapped about it, it was the worst. So I, I won't even open this because the smell honestly makes me wanna puke. I feel like I may have had this product in a disappointing products video before. I go back and forth with this. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. Right now I'm feeling like it's a really good product other than this one, because this one is bad. So I do love this product. I recommend you go try it if you need a really good spot treatment. I just need to return this and get one that's not funk nasty. This smells terrible. You could kill someone with this, seriously. Okay, whoo! 
Anyway, that is going to do it for my disappointing products video. Um, if you guys like these videos, please let me know. I feel like a lot of people do like them. I know I love to sit and hear what people hate. It's, I don't know why people enjoy that, I feel like. Um, but if you guys like these, please let me know. I will continue to do one like every couple months. Kind of like when I do my empties video, I do one like every three months. I mean, it takes time to, you know, build up products. But anyway, um, yeah, if you guys have any video requests, please let me know because I'm just about caught up with videos. I have a nail tutorial coming and a Makeup Mayhem video. But other than that, I'm pretty much caught up unless you guys want ColourPop. Let me know. Um, okay, so that's going to be it. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I love you guys. Thank you again for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Girl, you have dewy. 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 It's, it's really hot in here. I mean, like, ball sweat. I mean, that's really good. I don't have ball sweat because I don't have balls. Contrary to what some people say. Hey, guys. Don't start this shit. I'm not in the mood. I can't. I don't know if I can deal with this bitch today. Oh, another mascara that I have is the Cargo Bound. Another mascara that I have is the Cargo... Why does my throat sound like that? It sounds like there's something there, but there's... Do you hear that? <coughs> the rottenest cooch that you've ever encountered in your entire life. I mean, that cooch has not been washed in a good 10 days. Sweating, tightly packed cooch into this little bottle. You want me to put cooch on my face? Oh, hell no. So, I think that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm so sorry. I get dogs, not cats. <laughs> Cancel my friends. <laughs> Not boom. That's from Nemo. I didn't do anything. Everybody wants me to do your makeup. Then do it. Uh, once we get to 200,000 subscribers, I will do Emma's makeup or I will let her do mine. 200,000. 200,000. You, 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 you heard, heard it, it here. People. You heard it first. You heard it, people. You heard it. You heard it. <laughs> don't you're gonna hurt don't ow <laughs> yeah it hurts <laughs> ow <laughs> oh that was my thumb <laughs> he was already visiting in here <laughs> get out get out get out you invited me out Mom. now Oh. No, you're not doing that nasty burping. Get out. We're BFFs. No, we're not. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. You're lying to yourself. Uh-oh. Where the scissors? What is that, like an electric knife? <laughs> this is the ColourPop Ultra Stat and Lap. What color is it? I don't know. It is the naked ladies. That's always good. Just apply this to the lip. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Oh, I can? Yeah. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Oh yeah, ColourPop, you're doing it right. Why are you making your lips so, there you go. Make them bit, like, yeah. So pretty, Miranda. What? <laughs> What'd you say about me? <laughs> you look so pretty. Okay. But thanks to the Ultra Satin ColourPop Naked Lady. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the Lippy Stick and uh. I mean, this is pretty similar. It's just not gloss. What else? This is the ColourPop Another Ultra Satin! <laughs> <laughs> Botanical. <laughs> botanical. <laughs> What's that one? Botanical. Don't worry, you're not Because you said botanical. <laughs> I thought our brand was wrong. Mm -mm. Party! And what do we have here? One of these. These eyeshadows. eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. This is a uh, super chunk. Super chunk. <laughs> super chunk. Mm -hmm. Chunk. Mm -hmm. Shine on. And this just goes on the, the eyelid. Can I, can I do it? Sure, go for it. Don't dig. I'm not digging. Okay. You can dig a little harder than, yeah. There you go. Do it, girl. That's how it works. Looks so. good. 
and this is going on my other eye. Very big name thing. I swear to God. She's done a tutorial. No. Mm. What? I'm sorry. That's it. Beautiful. Looks good. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And tearing love apart, you're going to get your cold from that ice inside your deep soul. So don't come back for me, cause I'm beautiful and you are. It's good. That's good. That's good. She looks at me like that. Say goodbye, one-eyed Willie. So today's video is going to be a disappointing products video. I have a lot of stuff. Um, I feel like one or two of these products I may have previously mentioned in a disappointing products video, but it's been so long since I've done one. So if I have like one or two repeats, I think it'll be okay, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I am wearing a new lip color today. We could talk about that real quick. So ColourPop just sent me their new spring collection. It is divine. And this is Spritz. This is one of the new Ultra Satins. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's so pretty. So, yay. Oh, um, there was a reason for that little rant. It wasn't a rant. It was like a love rant. If you guys want me to do a video on the new ColourPop Spring Collection, let me grab it. If you guys would like a video, there's new eyeshadows, there's new lippy sticks, of course new Ultra Satins, and there's new eyeliners. So, if you guys are interested in a video, let me know. Um, I have I have the shade Flower Shop on my lower lash line today, and I really like it. Anyway, this video is not about ColourPop. So, let's get started with the disappointing products. Should I do the disclaimer that everybody does? Just because I don't like a product does not mean that I'm knocking you if you do like it. Everybody's different. Like, I feel like I shouldn't even have to say this. Like, I don't get offended if someone says, oh, I hate Benefit Roller Lash because I love it. That's okay. Everybody's different, different strokes, different folks, that whole thing. I'm not, I've had way too many bad experiences with Sephora's brushes. Okay, moving on. What is that? So I have some Wet n Wild. First I have this Studio Eyeshadow Palette in Coming in Latte. And I swear I heard someone talking about this saying that it was good. And I did use this in a Get Ready With Me video. And it's not the worst. I know it's Wet n Wild so it's very inexpensive. But I'm comparing it to Wet n Wild's old eyeshadows like the ones that are kind of in this packaging these are the new ones but you guys know what I mean the old wet and wild like old school shadows they were so good there were not there was nothing better in the drugstore for that price like they were phenomenal I feel like they've kind of changed up the formulation of them they're not quite as good as they used to be like I feel why did I close it I feel like the pigmentation in here was kind of decent but there were a couple shades, I feel like there were a couple shades that were okay, but then there were a few that were like, oh, this is really bad. So, I don't know. I just don't think Wet n Wild shadows are what they used to be, and this, for me, it was just kind of a disappointment. So, passing on that. Um, also from Wet n Wild, I have, I think, all four of them. I don't know if there were more, but I have four of them these little trios that they came out with. So I have Rapper's Delight, Bohemian Rhapsody, the names are really cute, Busta Rap, and Freestyle Rap. Eh, that one. Gorgeous eyeshadows, but none of them perform. The pigmentation is crap on all of them. They're just, like I said, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but they're just not what Wet n Wild eyeshadows used to be. They're, they're just a huge disappointment. So this entire collection for me, none of these, in my opinion, are worth it. Even though they're only a few bucks, pass. I don't even know if this is out anymore, but eh, just in case you see it somewhere, pass. 
I've had some of these products here for a while, so I'm sorry. Um, I have two. Well, let's talk about this first. This is the Jessie's Girl Backstage Collection Natural Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my god, this is bad. I love Jessie's Girl Nail Polish, but you guys, this was absolutely terrible. Terrible. Like, the pigmentation is terrible. Nothing in here is good. That one looks like it's pigmented, but I'm telling you, when you go to put this on your eyes, it is bad. It's probably the worst thing that I've ever used from Jessie's Girl. I've tried a ton of their products. Their eyeliner is really good. Their, like, loose pigments are really good. Nail polish, amazing. But this is not good. And I think this was only, like, $5, but... That doesn't change the fact for me that, like, if I'm paying any amount of money, I want a product to perform. This is not even worth five bucks. It's just not good. Huge, huge disappointment. Okay, another drugstore product is the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. This was the one for oily skin. This, oh. <laughs> you're such a little ham. Can mommy continue filming? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, okay, okay. And now we have this one. Hello, Dukers. Yo, bitch, what up? Go lay down, baby. Okay, let's continue. Okay, sorry about that. Getting back into the video. So this just, it left kind of a weird residue on my face, so I just didn't get down with it. Okie dokes. I have a brush. I feel like I have more disappointing products and I don't always remember to put them in here. So if I think of any, just check the description box. Um, this is the Sephora Pro Buffing 62 brush. I still have the little top on it. Let me take this off. So this I thought would be good for foundation because it's like, it's basically like a flat top kabuki brush. It's not quite as dense as like my Sigma F80, which is my holy grail foundation brush. Well, I do love the new Morphe M444, but anyway, so this, when I went to use it, I kept, it kept shedding. Like, I kept getting little hairs on my face, and it just, I don't know, it's not super soft. I just didn't love this, and Sephora brand brushes are quite expensive. This was not like a $10 brush, so for the price, it just, no. I, I haven't had the best luck with Sephora brand brushes. I have a few but none that are like, oh my god, this is the best brush I've ever used. So I kind of just don't buy their brushes anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Just kind of turned off. I'm knocking any of these brands. I just didn't get along with these products. So everybody just relax. And there's Banjo. Look at this. Hello? Oh, not interested. Now I have to get up and shut the door. What a shit. Okay, so starting with... I'm just going to grab and go. So this is the Nivea Men's Original Protective Lotion. So you guys know I love the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. So I got this just thinking, oh, let me try it out. Maybe, like maybe the whole line is amazing to use before our makeup. But this one, like this is basically just a moisturizer. But I don't know. It kind of left a little bit of a residue on my skin. Whereas this Nivea... Well, we know it's Nivea. The Men's Post Shave Balm. This is like the perfect primer. I don't think I've used another primer like religiously since I started with this. I mean, this is the best primer hands down that I've ever used in my entire life. And it's like $4. So this, I don't know. For men, they might like it. But for me, putting it on before makeup. Would you like to come in and say hi? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, disappointing products. Yep, Banjo's interested. Some people always ask why he wears his harness. I do take this off sometimes at night, but Tony can't put this on by himself. So, like, if I leave and Tony needs to take Banjo out to use the bathroom and this isn't on, everybody's basically F-U-C-K-E-D. Can I continue filming now? I know you just love Mommy so much. I love you too. 